Alrighty guys, so I hope everyone is having a great and wonderful day today as always. And you know guys, today in this video I really want to talk about how Moldavite can help you change your past. You know, and I know it might sound a little bit out of this world when you first hear it, but realize guys that we have the opportunity to do this as we continue to work with Moldavite. And I am here to basically prove it to you by my own experience, okay? So this year, 2016, the summer of 2016, guys, I have been blessed to have time to really purge, right? I've had the time to really purge a lot of things from my past um, that really impacted me when I was very, very, very young. Now, you know, every summer from the time that I was like 14, 15, I spent those summers you know, doing things like, you know, drinking, smoking, doing drugs, hanging out with, you know, girls that were just, now that I look at it, like super immature, um, you know, and hanging out with one of my, you know, an old, old ex friend, you know, um, we would always hang out. We'd always, you know, have fun during the summer. We would just go skateboarding, go ride our bikes, do something. And we would meet a lot of people, right? Every, every, every summer. And for many years, like after, you know, I gave my life to Christ, after I started moving forward with my life, I wanted to heal, you know, I wanted to let all of that go. You know, throughout the years, every summer was pretty hard for me because I was always remembered, I would always remember these memories of the great summers that we used to have, or at least I thought they were the best summers that I had in my life. And it's funny though because now six years later as I've been you know as God's been working in me as I've been working on myself you know using Moldavite helping just to purge all this and look at everything from a different perspective now I actually realized that I haven't had the best summers yet like this summer was actually one of my favorite because I got to go to Europe I got to spend time in Berlin I got to travel and even being back now where it all originated guys I am back here um, this is not the exact place, but this is like the area um, here in Colorado where, you know, we spent a lot of our time here, although it's not the exact same place. Um, but I don't feel bad about it now. I don't feel bad about moving on. I don't feel bad about replacing those memories. I don't feel bad about any of that because I'm excited, guys. Like, I literally feel like right now I've catapulted back in time and I'm changing my past. You know, a lot of things, I remember, I remember a lot of times when I was like, man, if I was, you know, 15 again, or if I could go back in time, I would do things so much different. Like, I wouldn't smoke, I wouldn't drink, I wouldn't hang out with, like, a lot of people that I did back in those days. And now I have the opportunity to do that. Like, you are literally here with me, guys, right now, back in time. Like, literally, you guys are here with me. Like, we have manifested back into time, and now I get the chance to redo everything that I've always wanted to do in my past and change it. And I know maybe some of you watching this might be like, man, you've gone nuts. No, <laughs> um, no, I haven't because, well, guys, this is the opportunity that we have working with Moldavite. We can go back into time. We can go back to certain places that, you know, that we had memories in and actually change what we do. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie The Butterfly Effect, but I watched it over the weekend um, last week, and it really just brought, you know, as I, was, I actually had Moldavite with me, because the last time I had watched that movie was when I was 15, or like around that age. And, you know, there's so much truth to that movie if you decide to, like, watch Moldavite with it. Like, there's so many spiritual truths about what you can really do and change about your past. Now, I'm not saying that I regret anything from my past. It's already happened. You know, I wouldn't literally, like, you know, change anything, if that makes sense. Like, everything's happened for a reason. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be here making these videos right now. Like, I wouldn't have had any reason to change if I hadn't have hit rock bottom back in 2009. So that's not what I really mean by changing your past. What I really mean by changing is reliving it now from a certain point from your life where you've learned your lessons, you've already accepted everything that's happened, you've learned from it, right? You've gained the knowledge and the wisdom from it, but now you can change it right from where you are right now and move forward, right? And move forward from that place 
without any baggage, without any, you know, hangups, without feeling bad about letting go of the past because you've already processed it. You've already learned from it. And I really want to share this with you guys because it's so important um, to be able to do that, I believe, in, in any point of your life. If you've ever gone through something like that, um, especially if you thought they were really good times or if you had really trouble letting go, um, because for the longest time, I thought that was how the best that it was going to get in my life. But I was wrong. And I know I was wrong. And, you know, I didn't have that revelation until I went to Berlin. And I and I really got close to God while I was out there. And being here right now, i just so thankful that I had the opportunity to not repeat my past. It's almost like... It's almost like this, guys. You get a second chance to redo your past. And it's like, are you going to repeat the same mistakes that you went through last time? Or now that you have the second opportunity to relive your past, so to speak, are you going to do something new now with the new knowledge that you've now gained? And that's what I'm doing today, guys. I am doing something new with the knowledge that I've now gained. I am redoing my past from this point because I've learned my lessons. I am now able to move forward in my life because I have learned from my past and I know and I know that I know that I know from the bottom of my heart guys that there are better things that lie ahead and I am a hundred percent confident of that and I am so excited for what still lies ahead and I know that I will still go through trials and tribulations with God but I know that there's nothing in the past that I want now guys there's nothing in the past that's that I that it's so good that I I, I you know, I'm, I'm like, it's, there's just nothing in the past that I want anymore that's greater than what God has for me now in my future. And here is like my video to showcase it. I am redoing. I am redoing my past now from this point on because I've learned my lessons. I'm using my newfound knowledge to move forward. And I'm enjoying it. I'm really loving the decisions that I should have made when I was younger now. and I, But I wouldn't change the actual real past. But I'm changing it now in the present so that I can move on in the future. So I really wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully that made sense. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Maybe I'll write a blog about it. Um, but yeah, it's literally like you're just, you're not really exactly changing what actually happened, but you're now changing it from where you are, right? You're now changing it from where you are. You're changing it because you're now ready to move forward into a new era in your life. You've learned your lessons and now you're able to apply those lessons to this scenario and move forward and so guys you can change it you can change your past you can really change your past you can redo it over so to speak you can redo it you can redo it over that's probably what I should name the video but yeah you can redo your past you can redo it guys I believe you can just stick with it work with the moldavite I'm telling you everything gets easier once you keep working with it and um, stay tuned for my next video because I want to talk about does healing ever end, right? Does healing ever end? I mean, like, does it? And so I really want to share uh, my perspective on it and things that I've learned throughout, you know, time on healing and just things that happened. And I think you guys will be really interested in hearing about that tomorrow. Um, I believe tomorrow's Friday. And um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that video, guys. Does healing ever end? I send you guys lots of love. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to thumbs up this video as well. I send you guys lots of love, and I will talk to you guys soon.